I don't know, it just depends on a lot of stuff. Thank you. But I think I'm maybe one of the first Ralph Lauren girls with at least as many tattoos. I mean, I've never seen girls work with them who have tattoos, but I might be one of their first tatted gals, which is exciting. It's cool to like have that um, opportunity even given like setbacks I may have such as tattoos. Smart, 20% interest. Um, I booked a job with Ralph Lauren, like an advertisement campaign, but I'm also an option for their show and a few other shows right now. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I book their show. We'll see, I have two castings, one like, I mean, I have like, I think I have four now, but I have like two with the same casting director. So they requested me for more than one thing. So we'll see, I'm, I'm, I'm manifesting, so I'm speaking it into existence. Right, it's so classy and I'm so not classy, so it's perfect for me. You don't get paid for castings, you don't get paid unless you book. That's like not a thing. Like you don't get paid for just coming. It's like, so they can see you, I don't know. Anyways, enough modeling, enough. I mean, mm, mm hmm. Like a casting is like an interview for the brand, so they see you in person. They see if they like, you know, how you look in clothes. Maybe they'll have you try stuff on, um, and that might determine like if they're interested or not. Yeah, my tongue is white, guys. Okay, like. I don't drink enough water. I smoke low key. I do. I know it's bad for you. I know. I'm just. I do. And I, I, I don't drink enough water. Oh my god. I don't know. Google it. I'm sorry if I'm being. Uh, I don't know. They just decide. They judge you how you look. And how you act too matters. Like. If you have a good vibe with a client, obviously they're more likely to book you. It depends on the client. Do I garden? So I actually have always wanted to be a florist. Like my whole life, I wanted to be a florist. Um, I'm not comfortable answering that. Stop asking me financial questions. Please, sorry. I don't mean to be mean. I just like, that's a weird thing to ask people. So I wanted to be a florist when I was a kid. Oh, I'm sick. <laughs> oh. I'm like, I always wanted to be a florist. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm dead. God. A librarian is better. I'm definitely not gonna be a librarian. I mean, maybe I would like being a librarian. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I would like it. It's like I can't be quiet for that long. Um, you guys can probably tell. That's so funny. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so. I'm just tired. I have a girl next door by them, so that's hurtful. I feel. I fear that hurt my feelings, but that's okay. Whatever. I'm dead. So do I garden? I garden occasionally. I have green thumb. Look at this terrible ponytail I just did. It looks so bad, I have to brush my hair. Um, God, my shoulders just look so broad with my hair down. I'm very broad shouldered. Like, anyways. Have I seen the drama with Blake Lively? Yeah, I, I was kind of beefing with her, so I had to go see the movie. And the movie, okay, top Google, I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I can't, I can't. Pff, 
queen. I feel like you'd be guys. I could never be an actress. Sorry. I just the idea of somebody filming the way I move my face is so terrible to me because I'm very expressive and sometimes I'll see a video of myself and I'll be like That cannot be captured Is it important to get really good digitals pay professional like camera? No, my first digitals were on an iPhone and I didn't have a supermodel look when I got scouted so I think people fell in love with like something about me. It really just takes some feature. But oh, Sydney, I'd love to be friends in New York. Um, but I was like 20 pounds heavier probably and a little shorter. Platinum blonde, fake hair, like fake blonde hair. Um, and I was scouted because I think they like all really liked my. Um, my personality because I, I was very eclectic, but I also have like very um, intense eyes. So I think that caught their attention and I got signed through that. But my first digitals were terrible, like terrible. Having a hard time. Um, from your profile picture, truthfully, you might work better in LA. Maybe New York, I don't know why. Sorry, that's a terrible angle of me. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. In New no, I think you could work in New York. I mean, I'm only seeing this like small, tiny, tiny picture of you, but are you tall? Cause New York is really strict about height and measurements compared to like, LA and like 5'8". That might be why. Like the thing is, is you're obviously beautiful. Like you're like, obviously you're beautiful if you're modeled, signed anywhere or trying to model or if you're just like a person with a cool look or personality, whatever you have to offer. Like everyone has beauty. But I will say 5'8 in New York is tough. Like I, I just hit 5'10". And when I was like 5'9", when I first got scouted, all people would tell me was, you're, you're too short. You're too short for New York, like, go to LA. You're too short for New York. And it's kind of a real thing, like, here. They're really strict about height. The only time girls can get away with being short, like, the only girls I know who are, like, petite, you're not petite, like, 5'8 is still tall to me. But the only girls I know who work who are, like, under 5'9", all have like a really good face for like makeup or something like makeup brand obviously i can't really see you but like makeup brands or like certain e-com looks it's really hard when you have an in-between look um yeah la is not it's not that it's more relaxed it's just a different market commercial in new york city but who knows like women I'm trying to think of agencies I know. I mean, my agent, my agency has like some girls who are probably shorter than you. Sydney Gray. Yeah, I know. I knew. I knew your face. It's so hard to tell from like the teeny tiny profile picture. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, New York's tough. New York's tough. I mean, I, I don't have great advice about it because I was lucky. I, I didn't have a super hard time getting signed. Like, it was more starting to work. I think I just didn't have a lot of, like, vision for what I had to do or, like, how I had to look. Like, I, guys, the dyeing my hair dark was a really, it was, it was a hard, it was a hard, like, my agency fought. They were like, you have to go dark. You have to go dark. And I was like, no, I love being blonde. I can never be anything but blonde. And I actually love it. So sometimes it's like hard when you don't have an exact vision of where you want to be. Like everyone, everyone should want to do commercial because commercial is where you make the most money. 
but then it's a hard it's a hard world because it's like you're too I don't know the industry anyways hmm what else is happening in my life hmm what's happening in your guys lives me too I'm excited to see who you sign with I'm trying I'll send you a list of agencies who I know like don't care about how you much and not that you're short you're still super tall it's just they always like mismeasure people so they'll like measure you as like five seven and then it's like oh it's over This apply saying you're five nine. Mmm. So I like painting. No, but it's something I would love to get into. When am I gonna publish a book, guys? I don't know. What do you eat for lunch or dinner? Kind of whatever I want. I like I don't have a restricted diet, I just don't eat big portions of anything anymore. Like I feel like I used to eat just so much food all the time, but now I just eat like when I'm hungry. I'm healing maybe, I don't know. 5'8", but that's short for modeling. Yeah, that is short for modeling, but like whatever. The industry is always changing. There's so many like beautiful, unique people of every body type. Like, you know, I've, I've gone to New York Fashion Week castings where like, I remember my one of my friends was telling me she was at a casting and like